All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the timing tab. Uh, we're going to discuss the uh, timing tab here in the ECU config and the direct access. So basically, these are both going to be done in one. And basically, this one right here, pretty simple. Um, you're either going to be removing, removing timing or adding timing to whatever RPM you're in, okay? Um, this is what the versions of V1 and V2 had, and they kept it with V3 um, in the program. Um, most people are not really going to use this, but it does have a benefit of being here, uh, so that if you want to make a change on the fly without having to turn the car off and you know uh, upload a uh, a change on your file, as you would over in this one right here, where you have to shut the car off before you can save any changes this one right here you can do it while the car is on so it can be handy but basically you know you're just for whatever slider you're using whichever one it is each one down is a degree removed each one up is a degree added so pretty self-explanatory okay the reason why you would maybe want to use this one right here is because you can uh, obviously you can you have a lot more adjustability and uh, you can select individual cells. Let's say we're looking at the 6,000 RPM uh, scale here. This is our whole section here. I'll just go ahead and highlight them all. This is everything here in the 6,000 range, okay? Let's say we're looking at the 6,000 range here, which we're already on it. Let's say on this one we move down one degree, or well, let's say we'll say five degrees here, okay? If we did that same thing over to this one right here is basically the same thing as removing five degrees everywhere in this whole section. So one, two, three, four, five. You just did this whole section here. Okay. Do you see the difference here? This is the whole section here, just as it would be in this section. You have no way to go and adjust to individual cells uh, with, the, with the sliders. So I'm going to add it back in. See where this one right here, I can maybe add one, two, three, four, five. I can add five just to that one right there. Whereas this one, let me go over it again. We're back at zero. We're adding five to that one right there. Okay. What I will say to make this clear is that whatever you're adding or subtracting here is going to be added to this right here. Okay. So let's say if we have uh, let me see, I'm going to change this one back here. I'm going to reset. Now you can reset over here if you accidentally mess up and you forget where you're at. You want to start all over. Click reset, it puts it back just like you had it. Okay. But let's say we wanted to add, let's say, two degrees to this one right here to that one cell. And then we added two more here. Okay. Well, you just, well, let's see, hold on. We're in the wrong one. I'm at 6,500. Let's say we're going to say we add two degrees to this one cell right here, and then we added two more here. When we go add two here, we just added two more degrees to everything that we see in here. Even though it may say 26 or 23 or 18, whatever it is, whatever you add to the slider, add to this whole section here, okay? So just keep that in mind. I do see people making adjustments to here and here. And if you've made adjustments here, you have no idea what this is unless you go and subtract that amount from each one of these when you go look at the sliders, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's usually good to either adjust one or the other, not both, unless what you're doing, let's say if you're at the drag strip and you add, let's say two degrees here, see what that does. Then what you, you can tell if it does good for you or not, then you can zero it back out and then add those two degrees in whatever section here you want, okay, to get that same result, okay? So just keep that in mind. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. If you get confused by anything I'm saying here, feel free to message me. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to go over it, go over it with you one-on-one. -on -one. All right, bye.